I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we had a smaller version of the makerspace at Goldwood? The children are engaged in activities from the minute they come in to the library by getting out library books first, and then they get to choose what tinker space they go to. We are learning how to correlate between literature and science, literature and math, literature and architecture and engineering. We purchased sets of boom whackers, five boom whacker sets, and a boom whacker is a long plastic tube. Um, it is an efficient and easy way that I can get instruments in children's hands daily. They have helped us learn how to accompany songs by adding chord accompaniment underneath song by hitting the boom whackers against the floor to make the different chord sounds. The kids love being able to bang things and make it a musical experience. Kensington is really excited about the, the Kensington Indoor Recess Activity Carts. We want to provide um, educational activities for kids at Indoor Recess. We see kids in groups, they're excited, they're excited about science, they're excited about arts, they're excited to learn. We're going to go to the Ohio Erie Canal, which is what we learn about in fourth grade social studies. This is going to be hands-on. They're going to let them touch the um, mechanism for the canals. We're going to see the lock. There's actually a lock that works. we will learn all about the people that live there. They're going to learn about how if you have a canal in one location, then all these businesses sprout up and how people earn money and the whole economics of the situation. We found out through testing, uh, through the Physical Fitness Challenge, that some of our students wanted to increase their upper body strength, core strength, and lower body strength. And as a fitness staff, we wanted to come up with a way to do that that was fun for all the students, and at the same time challenge each and every ability level. The goal is to always get kids comfortable with the equipment and sports we're teaching them. And if they were to go to, let's say, the Civic Center and they see a TRX, they say, oh, I know how to use that. I know how to make that fit to my fitness needs. Uh, the grant that I received was for hot plates and for electronic balance scales. The hot plates we've used for multiple labs this year. And then the balance scales that we've used are portable balance scales so that we can take them from class to class or in the hallways or outdoors um, to find the mass of different objects. In years past, the equipment that we were using wasn't very accurate, whereas this year it was much nicer to actually have results that we could compare and contrast and have discussions on after the lab was complete. So it really was a huge benefit to our whole science department here at the middle school. I wrote a grant for the Sprout computer and this is an amazing piece of technology that is a wonderful asset to our makerspace and to the students of this school. You can take images offline, creating all kinds of signage, cards, invitations, announcements, documents. We have a wonderful document scanner in it for transcripts and things of that nature. There's an interactive piano in it. It actually teaches piano. Each and every technology in this room is like a magic hat. Each time they reach into that magic hat, using these technologies is expanding their horizons and their knowledge and their creative spirit within them. The more they use it, the more excited they become and they go out of this room and they spread that excitement by saying, come and see what I've done. You've got to see what I've done. And it's just snowballing. It's fabulous. I was invited to go to um, these, this Global Student Leader Summit um, in Davos, Switzerland. And it was a powerful experience. I got to meet so many people from all over the world. Being able to use my language skills and to be able to accomplish something with that, it's just kind of stuck with me. And I don't think there's a feeling that's like 
equitable to that feeling in the world and that's kind of what inspired me to study languages and study foreign languages as a career goal. And then eventually my end goal would be to work at the United Nations. We got to visit the United Nations when uh, we were in Geneva actually and that was just amazing to like feel the depth of the power a person can have if they use their voice for change.